Amen. Last but not least, we come from the Word of God. Yes. Amen. I've been knowing this young man for quite some time now. Every time he gets a mic in his hand, amen, the Holy Ghost moves a different way. Amen. So we thank God for his ministry. We thank God for the anointing that rests upon his life. We always have a prophetic word for the body of Christ. So we we in store for a mighty treat overnight. Amen. 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 So I'll stand it over the place. And let's receive the anointed and powerful amen, Pastor Kenneth Caskin. Come on and bless God. Amen. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, come on, come on, let's worship him. Amen. I know it's night three and we our body is physically tired, but the spirit man so run on. See what the hands don't mean. Most holy, gracious Father, thank you for this opportunity. God, thank you for this moment, this hour. Now, God, I ask you to remove killer. God, it's preaching time now. Yeah, help us. Lord, it's time for me to deliver a word. But God, I be like Moses. I have a speech impediment, God. Lord, I open my mouth and yet you speak for me. Give me word words from on high. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen. This is a youth revival. I'm going to try to, try, to, try to hang with Reverend Kurt. Amen. I'm going to try to stick with the young folk. Every now and then, Pastor, you know, us as preachers, we, we need other things to keep us afloat. You know, somebody. And then being a married man, I found out Jesus keep me to the cross. Ain't gonna always keep your wife happy. Hello. And so sometimes I have to get over to some to some jaru and some tank and some. I'm I'm, I'm old school. I don't like all that that, that twerking, you know. All that. But I listen to stuff like like Tyrese and stuff like that. And Tank got a song that when I heard it, it ministered to me because Tank say, I don't think I. How much I need you, Lord, I need you more than the next breath. Never will I ever leave you, cause Lord, I need you. Said I need you more than the next breath I breathe. How many of y'all tell the Lord that sometimes? How many of y'all know you need the Lord now? Come on, y'all fool with me. He's talking to a woman, but I have to talk to God. And I said, Lord, I never, never really told you how much I need you. I said, oh, I need you more than the next breath. Never will I ever leave you. Because, Lord, I need you. Said, I need you more. I'm talking about. 
Because I said, I can get through this quick. But when that Greek terminology popped up, oh my God. when that Greek theology got in the way, I was ready to throw the books away. But in order to get your kindness done, you gotta do what you gotta do. So that's what God was showing Job. In order to show me that you really love me, I gotta put you through this. And that's what's wrong with you. In order for you to go through it, in order for you to show God who you is, in order to show God how to trust how faith is, you got to go through it. Look at somebody and say, go through it, go through it, go through it, go through it. Stop being scared to go through it. Go through it. Old song say, I go. If I have to go by myself. by myself, my mama don't go, my daddy don't go, I go, yet and still I go. Yeah. I dare cry, I mean, even though I'm sending me, send me. Yeah. I go. Yeah. Yeah. What gets me with black folk, Christian folk, yeah. church folk, yeah. we tell God I'll go. Yeah. But when we get there and we're on the rough side of the mountain, yeah. we get mad at God and say, you didn't tell me the road was going to be like this. You didn't tell he never said the road was going to be easy. He just said, if you be willingly and submit yourself to me, I will go with you. Don't get mad at God. Because even Job worshipped him. He still worshipped God. Even in the midst of his discouragement with God. Preacher, why do you say he had discouragement? Because the Bible said that the devil walking around, seeking to and fro who he made the vow. And Jesus he considered Job. And that's what made me mad right there. I got mad with God because I said, look, I'm giving my tithe. I'm going to church and you consider me. You discourage me and put me through this mess. Wow, I'm faithful. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Come on, priest to work. Come on. We go home. We go home. Lastly, we see that Job had discouragement with self. Many times we are discouraged with our own selves. I've had many people come to me and say. That, that they have sinned so greatly that God would never forgive them. And they even gave in to the thought that we automatically headed for the eternal fires of hell because of their indiscretion. But I had to show them that God is a forgiving God. I had to talk to them because I said, I too have sinned. Because the Bible says all have sinned. And yet comes from the glory of God. And, and, and they say, well preacher, why is it that they say all sin is unto death? Yes, it's unto death if you do not repent. If you continue to put yourself through this mess. If you continue to know there's a wrong from right. And you continue to do wrong. Then you are heading for hell. The gates of hell is in the
about seven years. We got stupid faith. We don't believe that every time you gotta go to the doctor. Because the grandmama, mama, baby daddy didn't come out of the room much. But we knew he was praying.